Hey there everybody on the Pro Forum, Darty Hines coming to you from Colleen and Company in Central Pennsylvania and I'm going to show you our Easter set that we're doing for our limited edition quick takes and I'm going to zoom out here and then we'll talk about how I put it together. So this is our set, as you can see we still have a Valentine's thing going on over there but we're going to talk about Easter today. Um, we are using the Denny background uh, called Shabby Garden, I believe that's the name of it. And then we have a floor also by Denny called Mars Mossy Stone. So Mossy Stone and Shabby Garden. Uh, the background is kind of like old shutters, a little bit of fabric hanging down that is on their freedom cloth material. I believe it's an eight by eight. Ignore the construction noise. There's always something going on here at the studio. Um, we use a lot of stuff that we already had pots and vases that I put a lot of spring colors into. Back in here, same thing, um, using some vases and some pots and some flowers, all artificial, and then we just make sure that we have lots of different heights. I believe when you're putting together a set, you want really cool height in the background for foreground, subject, and background. And then you can see up front here, we're using these cool things. I get these from Michaels. And basically they're already like all put together. Let me see if I can get a better shot of that. There you go. It's like a basket with the grass already in it. And it's a great thing to get to hide everything in the background. So then you can throw it right in front of some of the boxes and things that you use for the height. This little wagon we got, I think maybe last year at Hobby Lobby. And then we just put some flowers in there and vases again. Up front, same thing, using some little boxes. I'll move away some of that so you can see. Little tin boxes from Michaels, and then we just shove it full. We put like a little floral block in there, so put like one of those green floral blocks in there, and then shove some of that mossy stuff that you get in a bag. Shove the flowers down in there, so you can get some nice, nice depth. This is something I got this year. It's brand new from Michaels, and it is like a three-layer kind of a pop, um, like a plant holder. And it folds up, so if you do have to maneuver it or store it, it'll fold up nice and flat. And again, I just stuck, see if I can show you that. I just stuck some of the green floral blocks inside of there. And then shoved the flowers inside of it. And again, making sure that we have some nice depth to the picture. So we have things that are different heights and different colors. And things that kind of hang down. And then we found a butterfly be a bench online. I don't remember exactly where, but you can just Google that butterfly bench. It's kind of metal, uh, like a metal, dark metal. I'll pull that out there for a second so you can kind of see the background a little bit more. You can kind of see how we set it up. Where I've got room for the kids to stand or I can use the bench if I need to. And again, making sure that we have a lot of depth in the picture. So we have things that are in the foreground, things that are in the middle, and then we have a nice looking background. Little will be easy cleanup with our live buddies and hopefully ducks or chicks or something. But there it is. There is our Easter set for 2016. And I hope that helped you out with a little bit of ideas on how to design a set. And we'll see you on the forum. Bye, everybody.